What's up everybody? Got another episode of the 55 Chevy coming at you. Relax, no more tears. So today we've been starting on the fuel system, but more importantly, the other day, we started on this whole checklist. And as you can see, we already got the power steering pump lines done, the turbo oil feed, uh, the water pump heating hoses, coolant bleeders, spark plugs, torque converter bolts, hood latch. The list is getting smaller and smaller. So join us, won't you? I forgot to show you guys. Here's the beginning of the exhaust and the finalized downpipe. A little hard to see, but it's all done. There. So you can see the beginnings of the lobster tails and the turns how close everything has to be to make that four inch exhaust work. Making good progress for the beginning of the day. There's the fuel pump and the regulator in line. And it's making a line that goes all the way up to the fuel rail. And then the same, a line running to the tank. Tell us what you did to make this magic happen, Leon. We took the original fitting that screwed into the pump and we welded a Dash 8 weld-on fitting to it. And then we did the same over here with the weld-on fitting, but we went to advance to the help section and got a hard line for fuel injection that just clips right in for the quick disconnect. Nice. I was gonna run Dash 6, but then I was reminded that Dash 6 is only really good for 500. So yeah. I decided to step up to dash eight. And it actually made it easier, so we didn't have to convert everything to six because it was already eight size. So. Man, I like those new red plug wires you got down Woo. there. See, the fittings are all ready to have the hoses made for them. Same thing down there. Silicone coupling, just for this one piece, because it'd be really hard to get a V-band on in there. And then you can kind of see up here to the downpipe, but not too much from earlier on. That's the new Dash 8? Yeah, this is the Dash 8 one. Look, here's an A and adjustable. Oh, hell yeah. There you go. An A and adjustable. If I cared enough, Look, this would be a nice car. This video is brought to you by Grocer's Honey Roasted Peanuts. Available at all Dick's Sporting Goods. Turn it to the left. There's two brothers. <laughs> you spin it to the left, it threads in. I'm just gonna push it on. Oh, oh, there it goes. What if I wanted to pull out? Turn it to the right. I ain't pulling out. Oh. Hopefully this has music too. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Pay for copyright fees? <laughs> we ain't making hum, anything anyways. Hum music. All the wow. other kids. With the pumped up kicks, better run, better run, <laughs> faster than my bullets. Yeah, you can't get banned for karaoke. You can't? I don't know, probably. Why can't I guess? If you sing it terrible enough, it won't pick it up. <laughs> like the, the southern cowboy version. All the other kicks. <laughs> it's not all the way down. You'll never find. That's okay. Did you? Okay, you didn't use it. What? Use what? Not yet. Just punch a hole. I'm waiting. Run it. I'm hoping by the time I have this line ran, I'm like, if that tank doesn't have a sump in it, come on, Kevin. Kevin, you want to help me do that? There it is, right here. Here's the sump. It's a sump. It could be anything sump. you want. It could be a sump. That could definitely be a sump. It could be a shop bag. That the muffler. It looks more like a sump to me. I'm using engine bearings. This is bigger than I thought. Oh, yeah. I've only been looking at it through the camera, so it's like, oh, it's so little. It's near you, gutter snake. I just gotta keep it away from the exhaust. Yeah. That's not the right way to do it. Not from up top, it's gonna be uh, a little different. So, it looks like there was. Son of a bitch. 
<laughs> was making a tying a knot. Yeah. It looks like there's uh, some here that used to be a harness and has one of those flaps that you fold over yeah. that's just big enough to put the fuel line in. <laughs> so that will hold it. Nice. Right there. Come down. And we got some of those keepers there. Those little pieces, yeah. I'll probably go over top. I suppose it beats uh, zip ties, but zip ties. <laughs> you got <laughs> a bunch of holes right ties. there. <laughs> do things the right way. Do things so that we can knock them off the list. Now grab the cutters. Sure. I think so too. Until we do it and then we'll be like... Doctor? Scalpel? Scalpel? Sphincter? Sphincter scalpel? <laughs> Oops. Wow. Red Horse makes a lot of nice stuff. Right? I bet it costs nice too. These are like... Not that much, I don't think. I think it's a... I don't know. I'll have to go check. Uh, trying to get that so it's not going to rub the cut off part of the cross member that used to be there. anything sharp. Oh. Interesting. I believe Wait, you. there is. I lied. I just slide them on anyways. Oh boy. Learn something new every day. I still, I'm still going to slide them on. I can change my ways. Ah. Ah. You know what I was thinking about? This is so much easier at the table. I bet. That? that burger place that we stopped at when we were driving across the state, that yeah, red red so place. Good. Man, that's so good. We're brought up that. I just thought about it the other day and I was like, I hope we have a trip across the state. <laughs> Done. Holy crap. So good. So good. We can almost mark off half of this. Yeah. <laughs> so now that the fuel pump and regulator are basically done, we gotta drop the tank so that we can put a sump into it. Uh, that'll be next, but first we gotta get this old timey tank down. Old timey tank. Can you push the tank forward? Can do. This is why Kevin is the Kevin. Pretty nice. Damn, there ain't even a gap here. I Look know. at that. I know. Can we see light to the bottom? First time. <laughs> The, the, I like the small wire better. I like how even the burn is all the way along it. <laughs> you just gotta move. Consistent speeds. So you wanna grab that there, uh, Andrew? We'll see what it feels like. Okay. 
Yeah, I got you right here. Colors, Duke. The colors. I'm colorblind, kid. Probably gonna attack it with the name. Take the shit out of it. Yup. Get to the chopper. I thought the O2 sensors. One on oh, each header. Cut it and yeah, it should do that. I just put them all in the exhaust going out and <laughs> they all mix together and read the same thing. <laughs> we made another fun so beautiful. I kind of feel like holding this and drilling at the same time. It's a good idea. But then I feel it's like I'm going to fuck myself up. <laughs> you feel like you're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever. Yes. Ah. YOLO! This feels weird with no... At least you got another arm. Oh my god. I've never used one like this before. I'm scared. Hey, put it in the vice. Oh, come on, Kevin. You gonna put Mark? Dad! I what? think we'll. Yeah, that will walk. Come on, man. If, okay, go ahead. Dad! Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Dad! Just do it. Alright, right, where's your punch? <laughs> oh, that's my punch. I, I'm used to this automatic. Did you see what I just did? I jumped out of the hole. <laughs> Dad to the rescue. Jump down in it. Do I go slow or fast for these? Uh, kind of slow, but not super slow. That's too slow. That's too slow. Oh. What the hell, Kevin? If it ain't old shaky hands. I told you! Oh my god, I don't like this! He said it too! Oh he my. said, here we go. Watch this. Yeah. This is going slow. Ah. So that won't happen. But it did. Hey, where'd the plug go? Boom. It's a nice. There's no nasty boom, boom. shit on the inside. Oh man, look at you go, man. Ah. Hey! Relax. No more tears. I'm dirty, damn. Welcome back, it is a new day. Uh, unfortunately, we will not be able to use Leon's original fuel tank. After grinding it down, which I'm sure you saw, there was actually body filler, Bondo, all sorts of crap on here. It had already been brazed shut once again, and we have not been able to find a way to adhere both surfaces together. So the only solution now is to bend up a new tank, uh, weld it exactly how we need it, and then reinstall it into the car. Resets. Okay. Go ahead. All right, back a little. Woo. I'll do it again. A little bit more. Ready? Yeah. 
little bit more. One more? There she goes. Come here. You're all the way. All right, push back a little. All right. Hey, that's a lot harder than it looks, right? Yeah, it looks pretty hard to begin with. My apologies everyone, this scene took a lot longer to film than expected and we are basically out of camera battery. So the next time you see me and the car, it should be all together. Well hi there. You might be wondering how I got in this position. Well, that's basically where it's going to sit. The fuel neck going into it. All that's left now is to make up some straps to hold it in. Because the stock ones don't fit it anymore. What's up guys? The next day. As you can see, the aluminum tank is up in place. Leon made some straps uh, because the new tank is much deeper than the original tank that was in there. As you can see, the sump is in place and also the AN lines that are bringing it out into a filter and then into the pump that's down the line. So today's focus is going to be replacing the zip ties with an actual bracket so it's not so ghetto. Along with running a fuel line from here to the regulator, that will be the return. It's just a quick measurement to see how much fuel hose we need. Normal hose clamps are gonna be used because there is no pressure on this side of the line, so there's nothing that's gonna force it off. There it is, the last bracket for the fuel puzzle. If you can see, there's a little bit of cork gasket maker inside there to help isolate it. Otherwise, here's the whole system all done. And there it is, checked off the list. That's definitely going to wrap up this episode. If I'm right, it has been one long episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bring that